It's still a nation. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? And man, happy Tuesday to everybody out there. It's a good day, man. Today, we're going to get off the little Steelers talk for a minute. Today, I got a next gen console, my guy. So, I got an Xbox. Now, did I want to get an Xbox? No. I always been a PlayStation man. I had a PS2, PS3, PS4. Um, but yeah, that PS5, man, that's a different breed. That's hard to get. But to be honest, I just wanted the next gen console regardless. So for all my gamers out there, I'm on Xbox. Y'all will be getting a Madden 22 next gen franchise very, very soon. It's coming. For my OGs that was here before, y'all seen how that first franchise went. We had a lot of difficulties with that. Um, them vids are no longer up, and them vids probably ain't gonna ever be up. But yeah, we on next gen, so all my gamers out there. But today, it's not about that. Today, the Steelers officially released their 53-man roster for the 2021-2022 season. And we gonna hop right into that. We gonna go over our official 53-man roster, and we also gonna go over the people who got cut today. Because we made some questionable moves, but pretty reasonable. So, we about to get right into it. If y'all see me looking over here like this, it's because I'm on my laptop. We gonna start off with the quarterbacks. Obviously, keeping Ben Roethlisberger, of course. Team leader. Not too much to explain about Ben Roethlisberger. Mason Rudolph and Dwayne Haskins. Josh Dobbs was cut. Now, I knew he wasn't gonna rock with four quarterbacks. So, this speaks for itself. We knew Mason was gonna be the two. And we knew Dwayne was going to be the three. That's it. We didn't sign Dwayne Haskins for no reason. And he had a pretty decent preseason besides that final game. But it's all good. Obviously, for the running backs, you got your number one, Najee Harris, Anthony McFarlane, Kalen Balaj made it, and Benny Snell. We're rocking with four. But I don't think we're going to keep four. I do think Benny Snell will be traded eventually. He will be traded for like a good fourth, fifth round. He, to me, Benny Snell is not a bad running back. Or we could keep him for the pass blocker. He's a good pass blocker. He's good on special teams. Because as you know, the Steelers don't care who's on special teams. They'll put they'll put Dwayne Haskins on special teams if he has to be. But yeah, so we could rock with four running backs. But I don't see it happening. I think Benny Snell would be great trade date. And uh, yeah, that's it for our running back. So Najee, McFarlane, Kalen, Benny Snell. Moving on to the fullback, obviously we're keeping Derek Watt. Not too much to say about that. For the receivers, we got Juju, James Washington, Deontay Johnson, Chase Claypool, Ray Ray McLeod. There, moving on to the tight ends, we got Eric Edrop. Sorry, not Eric Edrop. Eric Ebron. Uh, my tongue has slipped. Nah, but on a serious note, though, I don't want to. I told you, I don't want to hear none of that, bro. Eric Ebron better be out there catching the ball. We got the future, the future, Pat Fryer move. Zach Gentry, and we did cut Kevin Rader. Kevin Rader is way too big to not be out there catching the ball and getting physical. Uh, so I understand that cut. So we're rocking with our three tight ends. Moving on to the O-line. We got Tukes Okorafor, Zach Banner, Kevin Dotson, Trey Turner, Kendrick Green, Dan Moore Jr., Joe Haig, and J.C. Hassenauer. Now, I thought Rashad Coward was going to make the roster. I really did. But turns out Joe Haig is the one who made the roster, which I don't have a problem with. Now, our starting our starting O-line will probably be Tukes, Kevin Dotson, Trey Turner, Kendrick Green. And I'm starting Dan Moore, to be honest. Dan Moore is amazing. To me, Dan Moore could be our best offensive lineman. Him and Kevin Dotson could go crazy. Kendrick Green, he has some ways to go at center. But I really do like Dan Moore Jr. That was a good pickup for us. He, he He's just aggressive on that line. So that's our O-line. Those are the guys we keeping. We going to have to work with it because they're still young. Still a lot still a lot to get better on. But, hey, we going to have to work with it. Moving on to the defensive side of the ball. Let's go to the D-line. Cam Hayward, Stephen Tuitt, Tyson Alulu, Chris Wormley, Henry Mondu, Isaiah Bugs, Carlos Davis, and Isaiah Loudermilk. Now, when we get to the cuts, I'm going to talk to y'all about one cut that I had a problem with. But for the most part, this line isn't bad. Our D-line is never really bad. 
So I'm not too mad at it. Our main guys, Cam Hayward, Stephen to it, Tyson Alulu. I liked Chris Wormley in the preseason. Henry Mondu's a big guy. Isaiah Bugs made it. Carlos Davis made it. And Isaiah Loudermilk, to me, when, once he works his way up, he's gonna be a beast. He's gonna be a beast. Isaiah Loudermilk was nice in preseason. Like he was nice. Moving on to our outside linebackers, we have TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith, Melvin Ingram, and the man with a plan, Jameer Jones. I'm so excited that Jameer Jones made this roster, yo. He balled out in preseason. Like, it's nothing that nobody can tell me. Jameer Jones literally came in here. I didn't know who, who this guy was. This man came here in preseason. He pressured the quarterback almost every play. He getting sacks, all that. I don't even got to speak for TJ. And what's... Hold on. What's taking us so long to pay TJ, yo? We got to pay this man. But I'm not really tripping over it because the season hasn't even started. I'm not tripping, but it's like I wanted to see him. Like I said in my last video, I wanted to see him get paid before the weekend was over. But, hey, maybe they were, maybe they just waiting. Maybe they just waiting. So, we're going to see what happened with TJ. Obviously, Alex Highsmith, young stud. I think he can be the next Dwight Freeney or better. Uh, Melvin Ingram speaks for itself. And Jamir Jones, a young guy, hungry, looking to get in here and make some plays for it. Shout out to Jamir Jones. Moving on to the inside linebacker position, we got Devin Bush, Joe Schobert, Robert Spillane, Buddy Johnson, Marcus Allen, and Ulysses Gilbert for our linebackers. Um, Devin Bush coming off a torn ACL. I think he's going to be good. Joe Schobert speaks for himself. I think he's going to be pretty good. Robert Spillane. Robert Spillane could easily move down in this linebacker uh, core. He could easily move down to Buddy Johnson, easily move down to Marcus Allen. His coverage is just bad. Robert Spillane's coverage is just bad. He, get, he gets beat a lot. Like, he's a great tackler and all, but he gets beat a lot, and that causes us a lot of big plays. Um, and Ulysses Gilbert, don't got too much to say about him. So moving on to our cornerbacks, we have Joe Hayden, Cam Sutton, James Pierre, Justin Lane. Problem here, we only got four cornerbacks. Joe Hayden, aged. He's like 32, 33. He's up there. Cam Sutton, he looked a little iffy. It was Sunday. He didn't look like how he looked last year. Granted, it's only preseason. We got to see what he do in the regular season, but I didn't like what I seen. I did not like what I seen, but it's fine. James Pierre, I think he's going to be our next our next good cornerback, he can be our next Mike Hilton. And then we had Justin Lane, which he deserved to make the roster. He has some slip-up plays here and there, but all in all, I like Justin Lane. There are some cornerbacks out there that we can go grab, for sure. We only have four cornerbacks, and I know the Steelers are not going to rock with four cornerbacks. I know, because that's not how we work. That is not how we work. So, rather we cut somebody... Or something and we pick up somebody else or son but we're not gonna rock with four cornerbacks somebody's coming to Pittsburgh soon before the season starts because we're not gonna rock with four cornerbacks and it ain't gonna work I can tell you now it's not going to work moving on to the safety position we got Minka Fitzpatrick Terrell Edmonds Miles Killebrew for special teams I'm assuming and Trey Norwood now, Trey Norwood better be lucky he made this roster because he makes a lot of mistakes. He doesn't like the tackle. He dropped a wide open interception in the last preseason game. I got some doubts on Trey Norwood, but I'm going to see what he can do when it matters. Um, don't have to speak for Minka. Don't have to speak for Terrell Edmonds. Although, I hope Terrell Edmonds can improve and he can show us why that we should accept his fifth year uh, option. But I think after this year, Terrell Edmonds is probably going to be gone which I don't have a problem with. But if he balls out this year, then maybe we can consider giving him a contract. As for Miles Killebrew, he'll be used for special teams. And I already spoke about Trey Norwood. Moving on to our um, kicker, obviously Chris Boswell. Don't got nothing to say about him. Our punter is Presley Harvin. Presley Harvin is our punter. He made the roster. We cut Jordan Berry, y'all. Jordan Berry's time was up in Pittsburgh. We moving on. So hopefully, I made a video. I said Presley Harvin can be one of the greatest punters of all time. So, and I meant that, and I'm sticking by that. So, hey, we're going to see what he get into. I'm excited about that. And finally, our long snapper is Christian Kuntz. 
Um, I don't know who this guy is. I believe he played linebacker before with us. But right now he's gonna be at the long snapper. So that's all with the um with our 53 man roster. I'm honestly excited about this roster. It's a lot of question marks though. I don't like how we got four cornerbacks. Uh what's gonna happen with Benny Snell or the O-line? But it's not too bad. I like it. So now we're gonna get into the cut. This is where stuff got a little interesting. It was a couple cuts that I did not agree with. Let's get into it. First name we starting off with is Jalen Samuels. Now I've been telling y'all for a long time, I don't think Jalen Samuels is gonna make our final roster this year. So that's, that's what it is. He ain't make it. Am I gonna miss Jalen Samuels? No. Did he, was he good here? Not really. He had a good game against the Patriots. He has potential. Somebody will use him. Somebody will definitely put Jalen Samuels up. But, hey, I mean, what can I say? Next, we cut BJ Finney. Next, we cut Arthur Millett, which is very questionable because I like Arthur Millett. And with us only rocking with four cornerbacks, I think that tells us that the Steelers are going to try to bring in another, another good cornerback. I, I think we're going to bring in somebody who, who has experience. I did like Arthur Millett. Questionable cut, but I guess he needed to happen, I guess. But I don't know. I, I, I feel like that's questionable. Now, some of these cuts, some of these guys may come back to the practice squad. Some of, the, some of these guys could work their way up. I don't know. But hopefully, hopefully some of these guys make their way back. Moving on, Cassius Marsh. Cassius Marsh, he was balling the first two games of the preseason, but... I guess he just didn't make it. He got beat out. Jamir Jones balled. Jamir Jones balled out. Jamir Jones definitely deserved to be there. Moving on. Rookie Quincy Roche. Now, how I feel about this one, I don't really like that move. I feel like we should have kept Quincy Roche, but he also got outplayed by Jamir Jones. Jamir Jones bought out in the preseason, man. I'm going to say it again. Cause he deserved the praise. He he fought. He fought for this roster spot. So hopefully Quincy Roche can come back on our practice squad. Cause he's only a rookie. I would love to see him on the field. I feel like he has a lot of potential. And yeah, that's all I can say about Quincy Roche. Moving on, Tony Brooks James, the running back. I believe he got hurt. So we probably just cut him. Moving on, we got Shakur Brown. I already told y'all he might get cut just off having two flags. In that one preseason game and one drive, that's not going to get you a good look. Shakur Brown has hella potential, but he just didn't show it. As I said, Jordan Berry got cut. We moving on with a new era with Presley Harvin as our punter. I believe he can be the greatest punter of all time, and I mean that. We cut Rico Bussy, who was turning up in training camp, but Steelers, we rocking with, with our five receivers. We could add another one off the practice squad. We definitely could bring him or Sexton back. Speaking of that, Matthew Sexton did get cut. He could have been a nice return specialist. We could actually bring him back and use him simply because we're rocking with five receivers and Ray Ray McLeod will be involved. And we could, we could put some pressure off of his shoulders, putting him at kick return and then having him come out there at wide receiver as well. Matthew Sexton, he could definitely be a great returner. He's had some good returns in the preseason. Um, but I see why we cut him, but I could definitely see him back in the Steelers uniform. Moving on with the next set of cuts, we got Marcus Ball. I don't know who that man is, so I'm not even going to talk about him. We cut Cameron Candide, so he's no longer our long snapper. TJ Carter, I have no idea who he is, so it's no reason to talk about him. We cut Lafayette Pitts, which I thought we just brought him in for extra depth at cornerback anyway. Never thought he was going to make the roster. We cut Anthony Johnson. Matthew Sexton, who I just talked about. Jamar Watson, we cut. Malcolm Prigden, who we cut. Uh, we cut Lamont Wade. We cut Isaiah McCoy. Brandon Walton. Sam Sloman. Abdullah Anderson. I went over these already, but I'm just going over them again. Steven Denmark. Calvin Bundage. Aviante Collins. Pete Guerrero. And Tyler Simmons. I'm excited with our roster. I feel like we can do some moves at cornerback. O-line. You know. Uh, as for these cuts, I didn't really have a problem with any of these cuts. They were all pretty reasonable. 
the Jalen Samuels cut, I knew that was coming sooner or later. I don't like how we cut Quincy Roche. I don't like how we cut Arthur Marlette and we only rocking with four cornerbacks. I do think a cornerback will be signed at some point before week one, hopefully. I don't like us rocking with four cornerbacks going into Buffalo when we got a matchup against Stefan Diggs and Emmanuel Sanders. If Cole Beasley plays, I don't like that matchup. We got a matchup with that. But for the most part, these cuts were pretty reasonable. Don't have a problem with them. I like our 53-man roster. I like how we switching some things up. We got a whole new offense with Matt Canada. Hopefully, this 53 can go crazy this year. Hopefully, we can reach some new heights. We can get to the playoffs, get past the first round, and hopefully go even deeper in the playoffs to maybe a Super Bowl, Super Bowl contention. But this is going to be a fun season. We do have the hardest schedule. That doesn't mean nothing to me. The Steelers play up to competition. So I'm excited about this, man. The season is literally in, what, 12 days? Like, I can't be more excited, man. We ain't got too much longer until we get to week one. So I just wanted to bring this video to y'all, keep y'all updated on what our official roster is looking like. We're probably going to ask some guys, trade some guys, maybe even cut some more guys to add people. And yeah.